this is the seventeenth day provisional on this COVID-19 lockdown period, and today's topic is about rainwater harvesting. Now the summer season is going to get over. The heat is building up. Rains will come any moment. One or two heavy rains will come, and then the rainy season. Out of 365 days, 65 days of beautiful rainfall we get in our country, which you do not get in any part of the world, it seems. <laughs> and half an hour collected rainwater you can drink for three months. In three months, then where's the problem of water? The day you forgot to melt with nature. Mahatma Gandhi says, the earth has provided enough for man's needs, but not for his greed. And as long as we do not have the greed, the earth will provide. God has provided enough. God will give you what you ask, He will not give. What you need, He will give. And the same, the rain. Rain will come. Aditi Devu Baba. It will come any moment. You have to get prepared for the guest to come any moment. Rain will come any moment. The, your duty now in this COVID 19 in your villages, in your places, is to how to collect the rain water. I'll tell you one story. The rain water is ozone water, one of the most purified water. And the ozone water can purify any diseases in your body. In my Devinali Ashram, we were this season, COVID-19, I told, please grow grasses because other places have stopped us cutting grasses because of COVID, the uh, movement has been restricted. They are not allowing us inside. So we need more grasses for the cows. I said, grow, grow fast. And we started putting water. And the farm grasses grow in, if you water properly and put the sprinklers or the drip irrigation properly, the farm grass, in 15 days, it grow to 12 feet high. And we have been pouring water and water and water and water, and it's not going. Hardly grow at around 1 feet, 2 feet. And when you ask the village people, village people will tell you, only when the rain water falls, it grows faster. The rain has to come. One or two rain should come. Then I was checking why the rain water. Rain is water is ozone. Even the plants to grow it in ozone. <laughs> Most purified water, when you get it, you forget that and you go to the... BWS is before water. You're begging them for the water. Why don't you call it such purest form of water which can treat all the diseases? Then from the rainwater harvesting, you go to the grey water harvesting. Grey water harvesting is the uh, no, flow, flow clean water which is taken in one or two, three stages of filtration. Very simple filtration where you put jelly stones and a little bit of um, sand. It filters in one place, second place, and you go up with a lily which grows beautifully. And that filtered water, you can use it to uh, pour it into the plants. Yes, beautiful. And then the black water housing, the sewage water. Then you learn the drip irrigation, how to drip water into the into the roots. If you have a little bigger, bigger, bigger land, drip irrigation. Or if you have a rooftop a garden also, drip irrigation helps. It, the water needs to be, it's really technology, the water has to be dropped only onto the roots. You can adjust it for 5 seconds, 10 seconds, half a minute, 1 minute accordingly. And the water falls into the roof and the plant grows. Yes, drip irrigation. I had a problem with my, in my ashram about uh, water. So we dig the first borewell 530 feet water. And it was running very beautifully. And then the, we dig one more borewell for 1,150 feet. Because mm, water is very uh, scarce. You have to go deeper and deeper. And suddenly last year both borewells stopped. We went for uh, borewell recharging. And you can believe borewell recharging we did. And very first, right, the uh, borewell recharging got, got over the very first drain. They really rain when come very powerful. First, we can collect around 10 lakh liters of water in one time of rain, water which is falling. One beautiful rain which fell, the borewell got recharged. Oh my god, I got a call from the from the people telling the pipes burst. I said, What happened? Why, why the pipes burst? We tried to pump the water. Four inch pump uh, pipe was not sufficient. We had to put six inch uh, pipes to pump the water. That much water we got. Now, again, of course, there's dry season. But uh, what I'm telling you, rainwater harvesting, rainwater harvesting. Yes, when I started the school, in, uh, I, I, went, I took the land in Devanakali to start the college and the uh, I put up the village people to do the work. Village people came and told me, last four years we had a massive drought and we hardly have any jobs. So please give some food to my children. So that's how I started the play home from there to school. It went over drought, yes, drought and, and a massive drought in a region. Especially this is a time everybody has got water problem. And uh, the priest, the church priest uh, went and told the village people, there is water. There is a water scarcity because 
God came to me and told, you are not being regular to the church. So this Sunday, if everybody comes to the church uh, present, uh, we'll all do prayers together. And then rain will come. So all, be, uh, all come to the church at 12 o'clock. So all the people in the village, they shut down the houses. They came to the church. And 12 o'clock, the mass started. 1 o'clock, mass got over and everybody got him. Father, father said, what? He said, where is the rain? Father said, where is the umbrella? What is that going to do? You promised to give the rain. Yes, God told me if I give you rain, you also will prepare. Did you come prepared with the umbrella? And he said, What is umbrella? He said, God said, How will you go back home? You should be prepared before the rain. Please make sure all the trains are cleaned up. You make sure that the Aditi Devo Baba, when the guest comes, you have to give a red carpet for the rain water to stay in your place, to stay in your trenches, into the check dams, into the rainwater harvesting pit. Yes, yes. So now is the time where you go deeper to understand, to allow your land, allow your place where you live to, uh, to welcome the God which is coming because now the lockdown period will be over. When the lockdown period will be over, what will you do next? That is very important. What will you do next? Are you prepared with an umbrella? Government is telling lockdown is open. People are running like mad people into the streets. How will you open? Now the lockdown is extended to May 3rd because of this madness. The last one story. The carpenter was working with the man and the carpenter is always thinking the owner was um, uh, misusing me, he is giving me a lot of work and I'm getting, um, my, my body is getting um, a lot of pain. So he discussed the matter with the son and the son said, I am now grown up, I got a very good job, that you now rest at home and I will take care of the family. So the carpenter goes to the owner and tells the owner, sir look, I've been working with you for such a long time, now I'm getting old. And my son will set, he will take care of me, so allow me to retire. And the uh, owner said, okay, you can retire, but one last building, one last building. Just build it up and then you can retire. Carpenter got very angry, he's a stupid man, stingy man. I've been working with him for such a long time. Still stingy, he wanted me to construct one more house. <laughs> and he constructed, the house was over. He constructed with, uh, without any love and uh, feelings. Yeah, very shabby, he constructed. And then he went and told the owner, yes, you know, the house is ready. The uh, owner said, okay, tomorrow we'll have a very big ceremony. So, and then you can, you can retire. The so next day, the whole company came to that house and there a very big ceremony was held. And the uh, owner called this uh, carpenter, handed over the key to him and said, this key, this house is built for you. This is a donation from my company. Carpenter said, really for me? If I had known it was for me, I could have built it so beautifully. Why did I did so shabby a job? Don't do shabby a job. It is you. Your talent is till the very end. Never give up. When you are tired, that is the time you show your power in this COVID-19. Stay safe. Prepare for the COVID-19 lockdown opening time. Rainwater harvesting. Grey water harvesting. Black water harvesting. Check them, then the drip irrigation, trenches, build it up. You are a human being. God bless you.